was wrong about Ira. I thought he would make a great leader, but he let me down. Well, what do you two think? You don't believe what Ira said, do you? Of course not. His argument was unconvincing. It's like Inby said. He's just making baseless assumptions given the situation. There's no evidence to tie his accusations to anyone, let alone one of us. <sighs> Maybe there's something he hasn't told us. And he needs to tell us! How dare he look at us with suspicion! We're his comrades! I wouldn't call us comrades. Anyway, could you get to the point? I know you didn't call us here just to complain. I want the three of us to form an alliance. But alliances are forbidden, I said. I knew it. I had a feeling it would come to this. So, we join forces, then confront Ira? Confronting him is pointless. Ira won't change his mind. I know there's darkness at work. There's no question. But, I don't believe for a second there's a traitor among us. Unfortunately, Ira doesn't share the same belief. He's just wasting time trying to figure out who the traitor is. The darkness won't wait, and neither should we. We need to band together now, and find a way to fight it! <sighs> Guess it makes sense. I agree that we need to do something to fight the darkness. But combining our unions? That was strictly forbidden by the Master. He's no longer here. I'm in. But let's be clear. The Alliance is just between the two of us right now. I don't want my Union members involved. Gula! Oh. I want... I want to follow the Master's teachings. Understood. That's your choice to make. You should do whatever you feel is right. Yeah. By the way, said. Do Ira and Inbi know? I haven't talked to Ira about it for obvious reasons, but I did ask Envy to join us. You wanted to see me? Uh, Gula, Ava, what are you doing here? What's the meaning of this? Hear me out, Envy. I want an alliance among our unions. Gula here has already agreed. Will you join us, and together we and can- And disobey the Master's teachings? We don't have a choice! Darkness is approaching, and we need to combine our strength to stand against it. The Master bestowed each of us with a different role, and he specifically told us to keep our union separate, to maintain the balance of power. He told us that any imbalance would lead to a desire for more power, which leads to darkness. I know you haven't forgotten. Perhaps... It's you who has been tainted by darkness. I'm tainted by darkness? Then what about you, Envy? You spy on us and report everything you see back to Ira. You really think you have no darkness in your heart after what you did? Because that is my role. To observe us, yes. But not to disclose everything we say and do to Ira. That's... For all we know, you and Ira could be allies, scheming behind our backs. That's enough. When will it stop? I don't want us to turn against each other. Master Alva! Oh, hello. Your name is Ephemer, right? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, can I join you? Uh-huh. Why the long face? Did something happen? Hmm. Long day. Do you remember what you asked me before? about why the Unions compete against each other instead of working together. Actually, I always wondered the same thing. Huh? Isn't it just because the Master said so? Yes. 
and as such we must obey. The Master said so, so it is. But lately, I've really started to wonder. You once told me that you were looking for answers, that you wanted to solve the mysteries of this world. Well, I think that's how things should be. We need to question things and think for ourselves. Whoa! You are really not yourself today. I guess even foretellers have their off days. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Aww. Hmm. You were trying to pull a fast one on me, weren't you? Oh, no, no, I was joking. If you say so. But, to be honest, I think it would be great if all the unions could work together and be friends. You know, I made a friend from another union today. Wasn't much of a talker, maybe just shy. We're meeting again tomorrow. That sounds like so much fun. Then you'd better go home and get some sleep. Okay. <sighs> well, it was nice talking to you. I don't know what's got you down, but please cheer up. Thank you. If the worst happens, I'll be glad to leave the future to the kids who see the world in the way that you do. Let the wind carry you far, far away. My dandelions. Envy. Have you learned something? It seems Ased and Gula's unions are now allied. So Ased is the traitor after all? No. I don't believe he is. Why is that? To Ased, unification is a means of gathering strength to oppose the darkness. So I believe his heart still belongs to the light. Even so, forming alliances was strictly forbidden by the Master. Yes, and his teachings are absolute. That's why I will try and persuade Gula to dissolve their alliance. Then I'll do it. No. Please, let me do the talking. Your intervention will do nothing more than spur Ased's anger. All right. I'll leave it to you. And one more thing. Ased has begun to question the two of us. As a precaution, my reports will be less frequent. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Please understand. Yes, I do. I think I'm done. Done with what? <laughs> the Alliance. I think it's time to call it quits. For what reason? To put it simply, I entered this Alliance thinking we were preparing to fight some impending darkness, but it hasn't come. In fact, there haven't been any suspicious incidents recently, and you haven't rallied anyone else to your cause. Yeah, but... This alliance is meaningless. Even Envy agrees. Oh! Envy? Uh-oh. You weren't supposed to find out. Is Envy the one who told you to break our alliance? Uh, maybe. But I'm the one who decided to do it. And I've already told you why. But we don't even know who the traitor is yet! And that's exactly why. I just can't trust anyone but myself. D 
Don't you realize you won't stand a chance against the darkness on your own? Sorry, my mind's made up. Envy. You will regret this. You been here long? My bad. No. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. <laughs> Lighten up! I was just kidding! I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. I was just testing you. Uh, right. Now then. Allow me to tell you about your role. You're going to be Ira's right-hand man. What? Ira's right-hand man? What do you mean? Well, Ira's gonna be the new leader after I'm gone, you see. So, just stand by. Don't disappoint. Explain to me, Master. What do you mean Ira's going to be leader? What? Is that disappointment I hear? Did you want to be leader? No! I mean, if you had asked me to be the leader, that's a different story, but I wasn't trying. You really want to be leader, huh? I... well... I know you want it, but that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, You! Here's a huge promotion! Good job! And make your head honcho, but enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Ira needs someone like you to give him a push in the right direction. Uh... I agree. Ira is definitely the most worthy among us. I'm sure he'll make a fine leader. <laughs> then it's settled. Wait, I agree that he is worthy. But why do we need a new leader, Master? Does, does that mean you will no longer be teaching us? Well, I might disappear one day. But... Well... I might disappear. Disappear? Why? Where? Speak up sooner if you're listening. It was embarrassing for me. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna disappear or not. It's anyone's guess right now. But... In any case, you need to support Ira. We both know he's quite serious. He's always just thinking and thinking and thinking behind that unicorn mask of his. So everyone will be counting on you to spur him into action. Right. You might not be entirely happy with your role, but just know that it's the most important one. Capiche? Hmm? Huh? Shall I elaborate? Making Ira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, he's terrible at this, in which case it'll be your job to step up. Who knows? Your leadership might be just what everyone needs, and that is your true role. May your heart be your guiding key. Best of luck, I said. It's been over a year since the Master left. It's time for me to fulfill my true role. So conceited. I'm protecting the balance, just like the Master told us to. You need to come to your senses!
If we don't do something, light will expire. Then we won't be able to avoid the grim future that awaits. We need to defy the Master's teachings to protect the world! You're saying he was wrong? He's not here anymore. I won't let his prophecy come true. I won't let the world fall into darkness! You fool! Over here! Envy! Asad! What's going on? I found out who the traitor is. Regrettably. No, that's not true! Abba! There's no time to lose! Be my guiding key. Master. Hmm. Mm. Ooh. Um. Oh. Master? Oh, I see. If you're busy, mm. I can always come back later. Sure. Oh, no, 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 stay! Now, where. Ah, here it is. What's this? Go on, read it. This is from the Book of Prophecies. But... Yep. It's a page that's not in any of your books. And what's written here is... You're wrong. You must find the traitor hidden among you, and stop them before it's too late. And in order to help you find the traitor... I get it. That's why you gave us all different roles, isn't it? If anyone deviates from the job they were given, we can easily conclude that they are the traitor. It's brilliant! Way to steal my thunder, show off! Huh? It's not fair. My plan was supposed to blow your mind with its grandeur. Your jaw should have hit the floor at my sheer genius! I'm... sorry? But was my logic flawed? Oh, you were right. So, I guess now you've earned your time in the limelight. Even though there is a traitor, act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself. Trust no one but myself. <laughs> 